Corley Motors factory. Holy ground. Looks like something big's going on in there. Just like the cell doors in solitary. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got you, bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Actually, let me think about it. He who hesitates goes home with Jack, and his kids hate him. Thanks for the warning. Better let you get back to work. All right, matey. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. There's the vultures hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. Those weapons were a lot of weight.
last brand. How ironic. Sealed shut. Wow, this place sucks up the juice. It's closed. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. The officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. Kinda cute. For a car, that is. We got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. Uh, you, baby. That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventures. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. Okay, that's far enough, bud. Let's bring her back now. Don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Field's been replanted. Tidy little vultures. you back.
I don't want to set off any of these boys. think so. I don't want to set off any of these boys. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack him up! Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben. You're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Corley and I... I said shut up about my dad! Malcolm once... I said shut up about my dad! I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. <clears throat> Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How... Where'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I... I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So. No shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm, that could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. 
Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motor Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of pile-up, Doreen Schmorley. All right, boys. Sick them. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Try and get away now, bicycle boy. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Are you Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. I can't avoid these other cars forever.
watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. Fly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run.
What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. 